Hôm nay, chúng tôi hân hạnh được trình chiếu một trong những bài thuyết giảng sâu sắc với tự đề Kinh Lăng Nghiêm, Trạng Thái Tường Ấm, phần 6 trong 8 phần trong tiếp mục Giữa Thầy và Trò được giảng bằng tiếng Anh ngày 28 tháng 12 năm 2018. Further, in the unhindered clarity and wonder even that ensues after the feeling skanda is gone, my God, the feeling skanda is a big hindrance before so that you cannot go into further states. But after that, you still are vulnerable. This good person is untroubled by any deviant mental state and experiences perfect, bright concentration. But within Samadhi, I mean, when he's sitting in Samadhi, my God, his mind craves deep absorption, so he restrains himself with energetic diligence and likes to dwell in secluded places as he greedily seeks for peace and quiet. <sighs> Even in Samadhi, still fall into trouble like that. So beware, okay? Always recite the protective five names and the gift, if you remember. Yeah. And do not think that you are anywhere yet. Even if you are anywhere, so what? Okay. Important is be a good person. Keep the moral precepts. Meditate diligently so that you can elevate yourself and maybe some leftover blessing for other people around you. And if there are enough people like that on our planet, then the world will become a much better, peaceful, paradise-like. Mm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we have to do it. Mm? We have to do it. Because look, many masters come and go. They can only do so much, okay? Because of the karma of the world that affects everyone. Nah? And also the, uh, the, the minds of the people on this planet make it difficult for any master to even continue to stay alive and to teach them anything because they don't accept, they, they reject, they, they confuse. They, they've been confused and brainwashed by so many of these so-called demons possessed uh, person and even after the demon left, these people still continue to be confused. Oh, just be good, do good, <laughs> yeah. Meditate well and pray for protection and deliverance. That's all. And if any merit at all left over, then please help the planet. <laughs> That's it. That's all you pray for. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you don't even need to pray. Just meditate well, be humble. Yeah. God know what you want. Mm? Yes. But pray, make sure, no? Or make sure that to reaffirm to yourself that I just want deliverance. I just want protection. Protection and deliverance. Protection while you are here and meditation and in meditation. And during the day, every day at night, morning, pray for protection and Help, yeah? Evening, thanks for a good day that you have been well and protected and maybe have done something good. Be able to have done something good. Okay, huh? That's it. If you have done something good, credit it to heaven or God, God Almighty. Yeah? Then you have no ego problem. Nothing that arises from your mind that you not aware of, because you remind yourself every day. In the morning, you pray for protection and deliverance. Even if you thank God for helping you through the whole day, good, good or bad, whatever. So at least you remind yourself that you're not wanting anything like those practitioners with our teacher here. Hmm? So 
The Buddha said to Ananda, they should be aware in advance. Before he got into this state, he should know that already. So now you know this state, yeah? So before you get into Samadhi and then you see certain certain things, you are already prepared, okay? It's good, so you don't fall into any hell. I won't let you, of course, if you keep your precepts and meditate even off and on <laughs> with your sincere heart, yeah? Because I know it's difficult. I told you many times that it's difficult to to even be a good person in this world because you there's other people who don't like you to be good, jealous of you or thinking you're weird in such a world why you are good, yeah? And then make trouble for you. Even difficult to be a good person, not to talk about meditation, reach heaven, nirvana, nothing yet, okay? And if you mention your master name, you're in more trouble <laughs> in some places, right? Ching <laughs> Hu? What does she say? <laughs> yeah. And then they ask, is she a nun? Mm, don't look like. <laughs> she a monk? Mm, don't look like. Then she cannot say anything. She don't understand anything. Only monks and nuns understand. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't believe her, don't follow her, Just stuff like that. And it's very difficult for you to find time even to meditate or to do some good things. Yeah, we have only 24 hours and one physical frail body, yeah? We might be feeling strong, but how strong can we be compared to elephant, horses, mountain, <laughs> river, sea, trees, yeah? How strong are we? Hmm? We can't fly, <laughs> we can't run fast. We almost like very, very, uh, handicap in many ways, yeah? We can't even think for ourselves because we've been brainwashed by the society or by any other so-called teacher to believe in this, believe in that, and sometimes we're all confused already and have even no time to sort out. <laughs> Except when you really have a time to meditate or in retreat, have a little time to be clear about what you really want or what is really right, what is really wrong. Very difficult already. So if you just keep the precepts, meditate as much as you can, be vegan, yeah, and be good or at least not bad to anyone, that is safe already, okay? And uh, the master power do the rest, huh? <laughs> keep the precept, okay? Yes. That's the beginning, okay? And it's a safety guard for you. You see, every master come, tell you precept. Every master come, always teach you precept, no? Hmm? Buddha, even lay people must take five precepts. Jesus, Moses, all precept, precept, moral standards, yeah? Jain, Jainism, hmm? Jainism, Mahavira, Lord Mahavira also teach precepts. Guru Nanak, everyone tell you to keep your moral standard, first of all. Because if you don't have that, then your spiritual practice is based only on nothing. Hmm? No good to begin with, yeah? No base, yeah? If a house is built without a basement, without foundation, it won't last, yeah? It will top topple, okay? So precept is the basement, is the is the foundation of our spiritual progress. Don't forget, okay? No matter what region you see inside, what sound you hear inside, you must remember to be a moral, upright person, okay? Don't tell me everything empty, illusion and all that. Keep the precept, as long as your body is not illusion, okay? If you beat yourself, you still feel hurt, then you are not in emptiness or illusion, nada. Keep the precept. Got that? Yes. And remember, one practitioner, he, he got into the state that you, you stop him, he don't feel nothing. He still fall into a trap from demons and can go to hell. Remember that? Yeah. So you are zero. Nothing. <laughs> I respect you and love you but do not feel too 
proud about your practice. And then just keep it calm, low key. Be yourself good first before you teach others. Uh -huh. Because if you are not strong enough, the one you want to teach might even topple you. Because his view might be also eloquent. Maybe he's from second level. He can even re-preach you into <laughs> turning your view around and, and making trouble. Huh? Or he might be possessed by this, that, this, that, that this, 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 demons. And then he preach you back, and then you do. OK? <laughs> no, not be hurry. Tell them eat vegetarian, OK. <laughs> Vegan, OK, but no, not hurry, OK? Not hurry. Ah, it's all so scary. Huh? So if somebody preach to you against all the precepts, against all the moral standards, and say everything is illusion anyway, you do what you want, there's no sin, no, then you must know it's wrong. Hmm? that that person is possessed, yeah? Stay away quick, don't try to convert him. You can't. You might not be strong enough, you will fall instead. You might not be strong enough, okay? If you happen to feel like you are possessed or maybe fall into some bad influence, call the master to help you, huh? Okay, recite the five names, recite the gift, <laughs> call the master if you're helpless, okay? Yeah, it's safer that way. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now there's another one here. So, <clears throat> where am I? Okay. Pestilence gods, yeah? Okay, already, already. Then after the ghost leave, they'll be in trouble with the law. Okay, you should aware of that, otherwise, go to <laughs> hell. Sorry, same hell, my God. So when the, the same state of mind after the feeling skanda is gone, this good person is in trouble by any way at all. Mm -hmm. Bright concentration, samadhi, his mind still care, craves something. It's a deep, Absorption. It's very difficult to clean all the mind from the for all the impression from life after life, eh? Very difficult. So he restrains himself with energetic diligence and likes to dwell in seclusive, secluded place as he greedily seeks for peace and quiet. You see, this is terrible. When a person in such a samadhi is strong and bright and clear already, and left all or emotion and attachment behind. Still, this impression still pop up, yeah? Even, maybe even with the disciples of the Buddha. That's why the Buddha said to Ananda, you must be aware of that in advance. The Buddha didn't say, okay, I give you initiation, you are my foremost disciple, you have no problem. No, because, because why? Because at time of initiation, the Buddha or the Master cut you off from all the kind of karma in the past life. But the present karma has to retain. The present karma is the price you have to pay to stay alive in this physical planet and having this physical body, physical mind physical sensation, pleasure, and all that. Understand? Even then, we already follow the Buddha, <laughs> uh, become a monk even, has nothing anymore, eat only once a day, like the monk's Buddha, they eat only once a day. So can you imagine how cruel is the Maya system? How cruel? Like Ananda, being up and down through thick and thin with the Buddha lives, after lives already, accumulate so many merit and such a good Bodhisattva with compassionate heart and all that. Left home already, have no wife, no kids, no fancy clothes, no car, nothing. Go out, have to beg for food even. Humbly beg for food. Sometimes have, maybe sometimes don't have already, yeah? Once a day eating only and still has to pay all this in samadhi. 
Not like you go out and stir a problem with any gangster or anything. You just sit mind your own business in your own little corner and still have to be disturbed by this kind of mind, thought or desire or thinking. You understand? So the Maya never leave you alone. Must remember that, okay? I don't care what intention he has, good or bad, he does his job or not do his job or whatever, he do good to you or not do good to you, you must be aware of this pestilent guy, okay? Terrible, rotten guy, yeah. pestilent guy, if he is a guy, yeah. Mm, we always say guy, maybe he's a girl, who knows? <laughs> Okay, meaning this being. There's another word for it. Entity? Entity, yeah, this entity. Thank you. This is like that. You have to be aware of him all the time. Otherwise, he cheats you without shame, you know? He can lie also. He can lie. Because he don't care about precepts, nothing. He owns the world, okay? Who is going to punish him, yeah? He's a king of this kingdom, okay? Physical realm. He does what he wants. Who's going to punish him? Huh? Oh, he already established his reign so deeply, you know, and he has subordinate long arms everywhere and, and, and brainwashing all the beings, life after life, already into such a terrible state of degradation that they don't even know what's right or wrong anymore. They don't even know the teacher when they come. They don't know Buddha when he comes. They don't know Jesus when he arrives, yeah? So deeply rooted in negativity, yeah? Therefore, <laughs> Therefore no, nobody even punishing him, nobody there, nobody think about it. You see, the whole world support him hmm? by doing exactly what he wants and doing bad things, doing bad things. There was a joke uh, of uh, somebody uh, a doctor who went to the to to hell mm. and facing the hell king. It's not his turn to be judged yet, so he saw the king of hell um, passing judgment to this person, that person, you know, like uh, the prostitute. He award her, you know, give her reward and all that praise, and then she's going to have another good life again and blah blah. And another person like killing animals and all that, and uh, give him rewards. And then the doctor, in turn, the doctor, they say, "Oh, please spare me, please spare me, please give me another life. I know what to do now. <laughs> I will please you. I will know. I will send my daughter to the, the pink house, and send my son to the, uh, butcher slaughterhouse. Just spare me so that I can go up and, <laughs> and turn around." It's a joke, but it is like that. The whole world just obey the, the commandment of this brainwashing power from the Maya. Huh? Hmm. Now that we have destroyed some of these controlling machines, but that's not all, okay? The Maya is still there. That machine is not Maya. Machine can be destroyed. Maya, not easy. But he already has so many supporters everywhere. You know that. You serve. A leader, you need a lot of support from people, right? You can't just go alone, two, three, or four people, or be two, three hundred people, and go and, and kill the king or the president or somebody. You die before <laughs> you even get near. Mm. So similar in this world is like that. The Maya is supported, so he can proudly proclaim, "Look, I win the hearts of all my people." Why are you going to, like, uh, fire me? How can? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, because then he also connected with all these people. If you want to destroy him, you have to destroy everyone, the whole planet. God intended to do that. But that is too tragic, too pitiful, you know? So the saints interfere, you know? That's why the saints said, let me. Let me come down with them, reason with them. You know, maybe some of them still have some spark of intelligence within them. I can awake them. 
please don't just destroy everyone. There are some good things, some good spark in some human's heart. Let me do it. Let me suffer for them to redeem their whatever past deeds that they've done. Let me have it. And then they can be awakened. That's why the saints keep coming. Understand that? Otherwise, why do they leave Nirvana? Okay?